Hello everybody, hope you're all well today. Well, the topsy-turvy roller coaster of 2022 has continued since I was last in here talking to you. And whilst it's been fascinating to live through the history of the last month, even sometimes humorous to hear that the shelf life of our nation's leader is being compared to a lettuce. But there can be no doubt that for those of us running businesses, it's led to a heightened sense of anxiety about the uncertainty in so many different areas. The Federation of Small Businesses said earlier this week that confidence among British small business owners has dropped to its lowest level since the height of the coronavirus pandemic. But confidence, like a lack of it, is always quite a temporary emotion, despite the impression some might give. And I bet when you look back on the height of the pandemic now, you don't think so much about the lack of confidence as you think about all the ways you coped with the challenges, the support that you sought out, the innovations you introduced and the improvements you made. So with the uncertainty ahead of how a recession might affect trade, how prolonged inflation and cost of living pressures could affect spending, and the added dynamic for schoolware businesses of how increased regulation might change the behaviour of schools, we will each have to channel the confidence that was gained and the lessons learned during the pandemic, which enabled us all to acquire the exceptional experience that will guide us through this next period. And with what I've seen and heard from visiting retailers around the UK, even with the backdrop of campaigns seeking to reduce the scope of uniform, which are currently really active in Wales and Scotland particularly, and also the application of the Education Cost of School Uniforms Act in England. Um, but hearing everyone, there actually is a confidence that your relationships with your schools, the understanding of what the communities you serve need, all mean that you've got the tools and ingredients to take the appropriate action. And taking action is the key, taking positive steps that invest in the long term prosperity for your business, not the short term quick gains. Where the temptation in these uncertain times might be to watch and wait, um, the benefits of commitment and certainty can't be underestimated. Uh, usually with the downside of action is better than the downside of inaction. And I know you know I would say that because, you know, particularly when I'm talking about placing your forward orders with us with confidence, but it's true. And another thing that's true is how great it was to see so many of you at the Schoolware show this year. We were thrilled to show you uh, our evolution of the Eco Blazer into the first circular blazer in Schoolware following our certification from the Circular Textile Foundation. And those of you bought into our Eco Blazers already will be able to boast of this additional groundbreaking innovation that fully embraces the circular economy and your schools and their students will absolutely love it. And just as we've done before, we'll be able to provide you with bespoke materials that show the added value you provide your schools when you work with us. And Juco had a fabulous airing at the show with new print innovations on display and discounted kit bundles on offer. And we'll be catching up with you more directly in the coming weeks on this and more to plan next year and to talk about how working with us in partnership has a mutually positive effect. So I think that's probably enough for me for today. Uh, the nights are drawing in this weekend and we're drawing nearer to the end of this year. So only a couple more of these to go before we change it up for you a bit. You might be pleased to hear so that we can head into 2023 confidently with new ideas and new energy. But there's a bit of work to do before then. So take care and I'll see you soon.